All right. Okay. Breaking. Official statement by Hamas. We follow with great interest and appreciation the official position and statement that refused to label Hamas the Al-Qassam Brigade and the Palestinian resistance as terrorists. We express our appreciation for those uh, for these statements issued by the Turkish and Algerian president, the Malaysian Prime Minister, and today by the Omani Foreign Minister, which clearly expressed that the Hamas movement is a national liberation movement that defends its land, its people, and its sanctities until the establishment of Palestinian state with full sovereignty, with Jerusalem as its capital. In this context, we call on all Arab and Islamic countries and free people in the world to emulate these honorable positions which support the rights of our people and the aspiration for freedom and self-determination and which express the truth of justice of our nation cause and our legitimate resistance in the face of a brutal Nazi terrorist occupation which consists of the most dangerous and longest ongoing replacement occupation in the world, the world. This is Azad, as a member of the Political Bureau of Hamas. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please follow me on my Facebook page, follow me on my Instagram page, and then follow me on my TikTok. Please follow me on my TikTok, very important. Most important, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment. In another news, Israeli army returns to demolish Jenin camp entrance. The Israeli army has re-entered Jenin West Bank tonight, initiating demolition of the entrance to the Jenin camp and conducting destruction operations in its vicinity. The situation follows an earlier Israeli raid on the city, resulting in the death of at least four Palestinians and the injury of nine others. This operation involves over 100 military vehicles and two bulldozers targeted both Jenin and its refugee camp. Undercover police force first entered Jenin last night to arrest Atta Abu Rumaili, 63, the Secretary General of Fatah. Later, Israeli troops entered Jenin again to foil terror infrastructure. The IDF said, amid this operation, troops clashed with the Palestinian government the IDF carried out a drone strike against several gunmen amid the gun battle. Source, cute news. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in my next video. Thank you very much. Share this. Share this. Share this. We pray God for peace and we pray that peace is sustained. Thank you very much. See you.